Hi everybody, my name is Bree and welcome back to my channel, Bree Sarts. Okay, you guys, I am so excited, of course, for today's video because not only is it sponsored by BetterHelp, who I will talk about just a little bit later, but we are doing some all new Christmas DIYs. Now, of course, we are only weeks away from the big day and we need to get started on our Christmas crafts. So I really hope that you enjoy this video. And with all of that being said, let's get into the first DIY. All right, everybody, here we go with DIY number one. So I got this little Christmas tree decor. This is actually from Dollarama and ugh, the glitter, the glitter. I didn't bother removing the glitter. I just switched it or turned it over and used the backside of this piece. And then I finally found these uh, adhesive tiles at the Dollar Tree. This DIY is so easy, you guys, and it's so pretty. It takes like legit five minutes. So I'm just going to smooth that down and then I am going to take my X-Acto knife and we're just gonna trim off the excess of this tile here. And I had to put it over the edge of my table because the stand on this was obviously like it wouldn't allow it to lay flat. So I had to <laughs> kind of move it to the edge of the table. And then um, because it didn't fully cover, I am just going to grab another piece here and put it on there just like that and do the exact same thing with my exacto knife and just trim the excess off now of course you know we're gonna keep the rest of that tile because we can use it for something else right <laughs> of course and that is it look look at that hey and the thing about this too is that you can definitely like turn it the other way if you want to it's like two-sided <laughs> okay so I took one of these stars from the Dollar Tree, um, hot glued it on the top, and then I completely changed my mind. Um, it's completely up to you if you want to keep the star on there. Um, just kind of giving you an idea of what it would look like, but I personally didn't like it up there. It just didn't, it just didn't look right to me. So the end result, you will see that it is not on there. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm just taking some of these um, pine branches from Dollar Tree and just taking it apart, hot gluing the little uh, sprigs onto the bottom here. Just like that. I believe I do four of them actually on each side. Four, three, three, four, something like that. And then I grab some of these pit berries from, I believe these are from Dollarama, but you can find stuff like this at Dollar Tree as well. And I'm just kind of clipping them, um, you know, to make them fit into places where I want them to go. So just using some hot glue, throwing those in the center. You can put anything in the center. You could put a bow if you wanted to. Um, you could put a bow at the top of the tree too. That would be really pretty. Um, you can put whatever color you want. Like if you wanted to do the red berries versus, you know, the, the gold that I'm using here, um, you do you like whatever fits your holiday decor for sure. Um, I just like really super neutral things. So, um, I love the metallics and, and like gold and silver and white and green. That is usually my jam at Christmas time. <laughs> And see there, I took the star off. So that is it, you guys. I love it. Tell me what you think. Alright everyone, I really hope that you're enjoying today's video and I just wanted to pop in here to talk about our sponsor. So I have a question for you. Is there something going on in your life that is interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals? Whether you have a condition like depression or anxiety 
or if you're just struggling with something that's going on, therapy is definitely a great avenue for you to take to give you tools to look at your life in a very different way. And that's why I am so excited to talk about today's sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp's mission is to help make therapy affordable and accessible, which is really important because sometimes it's very difficult to find a therapist, especially when options in your area are limited. BetterHelp is a platform that makes it very easy for you to find a therapist because it is remote, it's online, and with just a really quick questionnaire, they can match you with a therapist in as little as a few days. It is so easy to get matched up with a therapist. So to get started, there is a link down in my description box. It is betterhelp.com backslash breeze. Again, you can start therapy in three easy steps. First, you fill out a very simple questionnaire. Then you will get matched with a personalized therapist and then schedule a weekly session via phone, video, or chat. You schedule sessions very easily and you can text your therapist at any time. You can also meet your therapist using video chat, write in a therapy journal, and attend group sessions. Clicking on the link definitely helps out my channel, but it will also get you started on your journey to see if therapy will work for you. Now, of course, the relationship that you have with your therapist is very, very important. So if you find that you and your therapist are not necessarily jiving, BetterHelp will find you a new therapist at no additional charge. And you guys, the holidays are coming up and it can be a really rough time for some people. So know that you are not alone. And if you need to reach out, please click the link down in my description box or visit betterhelp.com backslash breeze. Now, of course, I want to send a huge shout out and a big thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. And with all of that being said, let's get back into those projects. And moving right into DIY number two. I love this one, you guys. Okay, so I'm using one of these decor pieces from the Dollar Tree. Um, they have a few different sizes of these, so um, you you choose wh whatever you want. I, I did want to go, like I'm using the medium size balls here and I just cut them to size. I chose five of the balls, like that was the length that I wanted to use. And so I tried to sand off the, the um, decal that was on the one side it didn't work super well but that's okay that's just going to be the bottom and then i'm using one of these cubes from the dollar tree as well this is a solid wood cube and just taking off the sticker with my heat gun it was stubborn but we finally got it off and we are going to figure out where the middle is there and we are going to take our white chalk paint and magically it all gets painted up in white and i did hot glue these together you could also use wood glue if you wanted to um i just use hot glue and it's totally fine i don't handle my decor very much so um, it should be okay and so here i'm just taking some of these baubles and we are going to stack them up on top of this um this uh wood base that we've made here and so at, at the beginning I just left the the tops on of the bobbles um but I get smarter yeah see like I'm taking them off now after I've hot glued them down <laughs> because you can kind of see them right through the through the spaces um but I do end up see I, I end up cutting them actually I didn't take the other ones off because they were fine, but I do end up cutting those off and then just hot gluing them down. Now with this project, I am using again, very neutral, very sparkly, very metallic uh, colors. You can do whatever colors you want. Like this would be really pretty with blue and white and silver if you're going for like a winter wonderland theme or you know your traditional red and green, um, whatever you wanna do. This is just for inspiration. So you definitely need to match your own holiday decor. 
but I am just going to continue on with all of these baubles. And so I started with five baubles, and then we're gonna to go to four baubles right across here. And using my hot glue, and I just put some hot glue on each side there and then just place the bobble on there. And then just using the end of a, a paintbrush, I'm just removing any of the hot glue schmoogies. And so you can see there's five, then four, then three, then two, then one. Obviously this is a bobble Christmas tree. <laughs> I just absolutely love it. It's so pretty. Um, so yeah, I'm just finishing it off here. You know, again, getting rid of those hot glue smooches. Um, I ended up using my Cricut tool for that because you know, it's kind of a tight space there and it worked totally fine. You can't see any of the hot glue at all. Um, just like that. And then, you, and if you find that you're not getting the hot glue out, just like melt it with your hot glue gun. Not too uh, heavy, but definitely, you know, you can melt it on there. And then I got this vase filler. I'm pretty sure it's from the Dollar Tree as well. Comes in a few different colors. And of course, just using the metallics. Um, you could also use like teeny tiny pine cones. Um, ooh, uh, you could put like little tiny snowflakes on there. Like tons of, you could decorate this however you want. Um, geez, I, I kind of want to add some snowflakes onto this one. I didn't do that, but I might do that. <laughs> And so here with my big noggin in the way, I just placed a whole bunch of those um, little vase filler styrofoam balls all over just to kind of fill in the gaps. Oh, my big head, jeez Louise. Um, you could see there, like I definitely need to get my hair dyed. <laughs> I'm very scalpy. <laughs> and just filling in all of the little spaces there very randomly as well like whatever colors you know just throw them wherever you want to you know what i'm saying <laughs> hot glue hot glue hot glue i think it would be really pretty to put some pine cones or, or snowflakes on there hmm. i love that idea so i just grabbed one of the solo wood flowers that i had and i placed it on top i'm not completely sold on it like it looks pretty but let me know what you think should we keep the flower should we not hmm. i love this though Alright everybody, I really hope that you're enjoying today's video and of course I'm just popping in here to remind you that if you like home decor on a budget, stuff that looks like super high end, like you got it at, you know, a high end store, but you actually made it yourself and with things from the Dulles store, then you have come to the right place. So make sure that you tap that like button make sure you subscribe and make sure that your notification bell is set to all so that you don't miss any of my uploads. And of course, this wouldn't be a Breeze Arts video without saying holla to all of my Breezers out there, all of my old subscribers, my new subscribers, and everybody in between. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I appreciate you more than you know. Mwah, mwah, mwah. And with that being said, let's get back into those projects. And now here we go with DIY number three. <laughs> All right, so I grabbed this piece of, I think it's just MDF. I got it out of my garage. Um, you can use whatever kind of wood you want, whatever kind of sign you want. You can get things at the Dollar Tree that will work for this project as well. And you can see there's a big splotch on the front there. I'm using my um, wood tint by Folk Art. It is uh, in the color Walnut. And there, you can see I had to kind of sand that little splotch out. Um, but it works very well. Like it definitely came out. Um, you know, it just depends on your piece of wood that you're using for this project. And so this little wreath I made out of some greenery that I got at the 
at Dollarama and with these pit berries from the Dollar Tree. So I'm just gonna make a cute little wreath here and just twist that around. It's wired, so um, it it's fantastic. Like the, the greenery is wired as well um, and the pit berries are wired, so it's perfect just to just make a little wreath um, in the in the center of this uh, decor piece here. So just wrap, wrap, wrap. I chose to use the gold and the kind of metallic white um, pit berries. Uh, there are red ones as well that I have seen, so that would be really pretty. Again, just follow your decor, you guys, however you decorate for Christmas. I would love to know what your color schemes are. Um, again, I use very neutral, like a lot of um, browns and golds and whites and silver and just like a, a mash of different like mixed metals and stuff like that. Um, a lot of brown, and uh, I absolutely love that look. It's very... Uh, not like winter wonderland, but like woodsy. Um, I, I just absolutely love that for Christmas. So here I am just, you know, twisting the white pit berries around the wreath. And it's, it ends up being so pretty, so pretty. There we go, there's our little wreath. And now I am just going to place that in the center. And then on my Cricut, I did uh, cut out a J and a Y. So obviously this is gonna say joy. <laughs> um, you can do Noel as well if you want to, um, using that O or the wreath as an O. And here I'm just kind of centering everything, making sure that it looks good, using my ruler, um, and everything looks like it's to be centered here. And we are going to fiddle. <laughs> I'm a perfectionist. If you guys have been with me for a while, I'm definitely a perfectionist, and it is, ugh, it is one of my character flaws, I would say. <laughs> everything has to be like perfect. So there we go, we just burnished those down. And then I am going to take some, uh, what am I gonna do first here? Okay, so we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna hot glue that wreath down onto the sign, just like that. And then we are going to take these pr really cute snowflakes. I got the snowflakes at Dollarama. I know that they do have little wooden snowflakes at the Dollar Tree as well. I'm sure you can find them at different places, like any kind of hobby store, any kind of craft store, anything like that. And I am using this kind of, it's white and um, like natural, twine that I got. I'm pretty sure it's from the Dollar Tree as well. And I'm just wrapping that around the end here just a few times. Um, you can also use just regular um, regular twine if you don't if you can't find this particular twine. It should be pretty easy to find though. And we're gonna do that on both sides of this decor piece, just like that. And then you can just kind of you know spread it out um, you know till your eyes are happy. <laughs> And we are going to take those snowflakes and shablam, painted them up with my white chalk paint and just using some hot glue, we are going to glue those on either side, just like that. I'm gonna do that to both of those. And that is it for this piece, you guys. I think it's so pretty, it's so simple. Um, you know, it's just a shelf leaner. You could also put it on the wall if you wanted to put a hanger on it. Like, it's so cute. And this is the last one, you guys, DIY number four. So I got this plaque. This one is from Dollarama. They do have something very similar at 
uh, Dollar Tree. Um, this actually had a little hanger thing at the bottom, which I had removed previously. And then I'm just taking the uh, hanging hardware um, off here. Just screw that out. And of course I keep everything, um, all of the screws, all of the little hardware things, because you know, you never know, you might need it in the future. And so again, white chalk paint, and some antique wax. And I just painted with the with the white chalk paint the whole thing, and then I just went around the edges and um, just like dry brushed the antique wax on. And now I'm using one of these cathedral windows. I, I found these at the Dollar Tree quite a while ago. Um, hopefully they're still in stock, I don't know, but they're so pretty and I just, I've been waiting to use it. Um, and then I cut this out on my Cricut. It says, oh, holy night. Um, with some stars on it like how pretty is that and there you saw like I pulled it off and that little star didn't stay yeah just stick it back on and voila there we go <laughs> it worked like a charm again all of these projects are super super simple you guys like I just love how they came out and so just using a little bit of hot glue, I did sand it down a little bit first because hot glue and metal don't necessarily mix very well. And then I do put some on the back too so it's nice and secure um, like through the metal. Um, I didn't want it to fall off, of course. And so again, with these uh, pieces of pine branches, I am just gonna decorate this up. So just clipping those off. Um, and we're gonna kind of make a teeny little swag on this uh, decor piece here. So clipping down the stems and we are going to uh, make this little swag. So two pieces on each side, just like that. And, you know, clip, clip, clip. <laughs> Making sure that it all fits together, just like that. And I'm gonna use a zip tie here just to tie it all together in the center so it all stays together. Hard to do with only one hand. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so then clip off the little tail there. And there we go. So we're just going to um, hot glue that to the top here. I actually hot glued it to the wood instead of to the metal because like I said, it's not gonna stick very well to the metal, but it will stick to the wood. So um, it will stay put just like that. And then we are going to take some of this Buffalo check ribbon, um, also from the Dollar Tree. Just make a very, very simple bow um, to put into the center of that of that little swag and then of course we're going to you know floof this up just a little bit I need it I think it needed just a little bit more um, and here I'm just hot gluing it onto the rest of the of the little branches and whatnot um, it just needed you know some more zhuzh you, you know what I'm saying and then putting that bow in the center and the tails go on either side of our little sign Clip those down just a titch. And that is it, you guys. Isn't it so pretty? Like, oh, to put beside your fireplace or, you know, on a shelf. Oh, I, I love it. you guys that is it for today's video I hope you really like these simple projects I think sometimes less is more and you know they definitely make a statement they're so pretty and they're so easy to make like look at how pretty that is and I legit it took me five minutes to make that it's so so pretty love 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 so of course let me know down in the comments which one of these was your favorite i want to send a big thank you again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video thank you guys so much for watching um 
I am working really, really hard on a few different projects and whatnot, but I will be back very soon with some new Christmas decor DIYs. And of course, as always, you guys, if you like what you see, do me a solid tap that like button, maybe subscribe, tell your friends, you know, all of that jazz. Stay tuned for the gag reel. Bye guys. All right, you guys, I need to dye my hair, like my roots. I don't know about anybody else, but I'm a five week kind of girl. <laughs> It's just brutal. I found my first gray hair when I was in grade 10. How is that fair? Crazy. Okay, the lighting is whack on this thing. Like, I don't know what is happening here. Let's just, whoa, see? It's whack, man. Let's see, I just, I want it to be a little bit brighter. Cause I'm losing sunlight. I'm losing sunlight here, guys. <laughs> okay. Just, what the heck? Okay, I don't know. I look pretty orange. What is happening here? Bah. Okay, maybe like that? Do we still look orange? Yeah, it's still kind of orange. Hmm. I need a new camera. <laughs> So tell me y'all, are you guys ready for Christmas? See, here's the thing. I do not decorate for Christmas until December 11th. December 11th is my daughter's birthday and it has been tradition because she loves Christmas <laughs> that we decorate on her birthday. So I'm not even close yet, but tell me, are, you, are your trees up? Have they been up for a while? Um, do you keep them up until like March? Like what's your, what's your deal? <laughs> I would love to know. All right, you guys, I hope that you're, ha oh my God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if this freaking lighting is working or not. This might be kind of uh, brutski. Might be brutski. Is that better? I don't know if that's better. It looks really dark. You can really see my dark circles. <laughs> I don't know what they do. <laughs> Here we go, here we go. Uh, and action. <laughs> so you guys, I'm super pumped to do the thing. Let's do it. Um, just sitting here smiling. <laughs> just the brain's going I swear to you the brain is going it's what do I say next mm. <laughs>